Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on dynamically setting label captions using Excel VBA. So on this worksheet, I have participant ID numbers, and then I have six variables. Quiz 1, Quiz 2, Final Exam, Comments, Course, and Grade. And I want to have a user form that has text boxes that correspond to these variables and I want the labels above those text boxes to match these variable names so that if I change a variable name that change is reflected on the user form. So moving here to the right to this red rectangle if I right click and go down to assign macro you can see that this rectangle is associated with this sheet 1 open form subroutine. So if I move over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, you can see we have subroutine open form, user form 1.show. This displays user form 1, which is here, and user form 1.text box, 1.set focus. That sets the focus to this first text box. So moving back to the worksheet, when I click on that red rectangle, it brings up this user form. And here you can enter the data and click the enter button and it'll populate this worksheet. So as you can see here when I opened this user form up the label captions match the variable names on the worksheet. And there are a couple ways to do this. Moving back to Visual Basic Editor. The way I have it configured here, this is user form initialize, is each label caption is set to the corresponding cell. And this may be an okay method if you only have a few label captions you want to set or in looking at the worksheet or worksheets the variable names are scattered throughout the worksheet. However in this situation all of the variable names are in the same row. So we can use a loop to populate the label captions on this user form. I'm going to move to the user form. I'm just going to add a command button, command button 2 to this user form using the toolbox here, just dragging it on to the user form. I'm going to double click it and move these lines of code that are currently under initialize, I'm just going to move them up to this command button 2 click event. So the way it's configured here, if I went back to the worksheet and open the user form, you see the label captions are not set. They're empty. I click command button 2 and they populate with the variable names. Moving back to the Visual Basic Editor. So under user form initialize, now I'm going to build a loop that will loop through each of the labels and set the caption to the appropriate cell on the worksheet. So I'm going to start by declaring a couple of variables. dim i as integer and dim label count as integer. All right, so I have those two variables, i and label count. And I'm just going to copy control C, copy that variable name control V, paste it, and set it to be equal to six because I have six labels. And then for the loop, it's going to be four I equals one to label count. And then before I put any code in, I'm going to put next in, close that loop. So for I equals one to label count, and then next. As for the code inside the loop, it's just going to be one line of code that will populate all these label captions. This will be controls, then label ampersand i, and label is in quotation marks, dot caption equals sheets data dot cells, and then here the row is going to be equal to one, and the column i plus one dot value. 
So controls, and then label, and I, dot caption, equals sheets data cells one, I plus one, dot value. So we have I is equal to one, so it's label one is equal to cell one, two, because it's I plus one, so it's two. And that, of course, matches what we have up here for label one. When it goes through for the second time, two, so it's label two, cells one, three, and that corresponds, and so on. So this loop accomplishes everything we've accomplished using these six lines of code up here. So to demonstrate, moving back to the worksheet, open the user form, and we have the variable names loaded as the label captions, and all six of them are included here. In this example, the variable names are stored in a row. If you had the variable names stored in a column, moving back to the Visual Basic Editor, and looking at this one line of code here, begins with controls, move over to cells, where it has cells one, I plus one, that's row one, and the column is I plus one. If the variable names were all in the same column, the I plus one would be in, in rows, and the one would be in columns. So you just switch those two around. I hope you found this video on dynamically setting label captions in Excel VBA to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.